Hello everyone, let us discuss ISC 2023 computer science paper question 1. According to De Morgan's law, the given expression will be equal to. Now we will solve the given expression using De Morgan's law. So it will be what? Complement of this whole expression will result into a bar dot b bar dot c. So option D is correct. Okay, next. Question 2. Dual. What is dual? Dual of a given expression we have to find. Now dual of expression says we have to replace dot with plus, plus with dot, 1 with 0 and 0 with 1. That's it. So accordingly if I solve, option C is correct. Next. Question 3. The reduced expression for the Boolean function f is equal to p bar plus pq is what? If I solve, it will be p bar plus p dot p bar plus q. Now, p plus p bar is 1, we know. So, this remains as it is 1 dot p bar plus q. That is option A is correct. Next. Question 4. Contrapositive of the given expression. Now, we know if p then q, then contrapositive will be negation q, then negation p. But for the given expression, negation p, then negation q, what will be the contrapositive? We have to first inverse it and then find the contrapositive. So, option B is correct. Next. The keyword that allows multi-level inheritance in Java programming is what? Of course, extends, right? Extends allows us to do multi-level inheritance. Next. Question number six says, write the mean term for the given function where literals values are provided. Now, for writing the mean term, mean term is nothing but product of all the literals, okay? Now, for mean term, barred letter represents zero and non-barred represents one, okay? Barred represents zero and non-barred letter represents one. So, if a is one, what does it mean? We have to write non-barred, okay? A, B and C are zero. That's why we have to write B, do, B dash dot C dash and D as it is. So, mean term will be what? A dot B bar C bar D, right? Next, verify. Question number seven, verify A plus A bar and whole bar is tautology, contradiction or contingency, okay? So, we have to solve it. We know A plus A bar is what? One and complement of one bar is zero. That is, it is contradiction. So, question number seven is contradiction. Next, state any one purpose of using this keyword. There are two usage of this keyword. First is to call the chain of constructor. If we want to call multiple constructors, then we use this keyword. And second is to distinguish between the class variable and formal parameters if they are same name. If they are having same name, then to distinguish between class variable and formal parameter, we use which keyword? We use this keyword. Now, question number nine. Mention any two properties of data member of an interface. Data member means what? variables. What are the properties of variables of an interface? All the variables are public, they must be static and they must be final. Okay. Next, what is the importance of reference part in a linked list? Now, reference part in a linked list, what does it store? It stores the address of next node. Okay. So, actual importance of reference part is what? It stores the address of next nodes in a linked list or we can say it keeps the track of next nodes present in the linked list. Next, question number two, convert the following infix notation to prefix notation. Now, how to convert the infix notation to prefix notation? The answer is this. When you convert the given expression, which is in the infix form, the prefix of same is this, okay? Next question, a matrix M dash 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 is stored in a memory. Each requires four byte of storage. Now, we know the formula. If column major is there, then the formula is what? B plus W into I minus LR plus M into J minus LC. So here the given data is what? Let us see. Number of row we will calculate. From the question it is minus 6, 10. So lower LR is this and LU is this upper limit. Lower column and upper column is given. Now we calculate M using the formula. So we will get 17. If we calculate number of columns, then we will get 12. We know base address given is 1025 and W is 4 byte. Now value of I and J, what are these? These are the address of particular location which we want to calculate. Okay. So using the formula when I solve, the answer will be one triple, sorry, one three three seven. Next question. Now I have to find out what output of this function. Now when I solve this, the answer will come true. What is the answer? True. If I send x variable as 25, your answer will be true. What this function does? It this function calculates or 
this function checks whether the number provided is automorphic number or not it is checking whether the number entered is automorphic or not what is automorphic the square of a given number ends with the same digits as the number itself in examination if you don't remember that this kind of number is called automorphic you can simply write this function checks whether square of a given number ends with the same digits as in the number itself okay next this function calculates hcf highest common factor it is finding it is looking or searching or calculating for highest common factor so highest common factor of 30 and 45 is 15 part 2 of this paper is solved in my next video Thank you.